Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make simple crank engine mechanism in Soldworks. So let's start. For the sake of simplicity, I am going to make all my parts and assembly in assembly mode. Okay. So click on insert components, click on new part, select the plane as per your requirement. In my case, I am using front plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Draw a circle here. Uh, let's say the circle is uh, 50 mm diameter. Press escape. Uh, by pressing control, select these two points. Click on concentric. Click OK. And click on features. Extrude. Extrude up to 50 mm. Make sure it is on mid plane so that when I will do, you know, uh, mates, so I will not face any issues. Select this face click on sketch now I will use something called slot command draw a line like this and expand go to the smart dimensions give it a dimension as per your requirement now make sure that you remember what is the slot length because this is also called crank so whatever is the crank radius you need to make sure that your crank rod will be greater than this thing okay if it is less than the crank diameter then it will be issue so crank radius is 100 this line see it is 100 so your crank rod must be greater than 200 if it is not you will face issues try to check your own what kind of issue you will face hint it is a mecha uh, uh, mechanism issue not your assembly issue and give it a diameter 25 features extrude Blind 5 ok let's make it more better you know so that it will look more cooler that you know we have made something so click on here draw the center line escape Let's give them some dimensions. Sixty-five, seventy-five. By pressing Ctrl, select these two points. Make it coincident. Select these two points. Make it horizontal. Select this line. Make it horizontal as well. And click on here. Click on fully define sketch. Click OK. Now what I will do, I will extrude it reverse direction, uh, let's say 10, 15 will be better, 15, ok, and let's extrude this as well, 15, click ok, now what I will do, I will select this edge, and click on chamfer so currently it is 10 and 45 or you can make 12 and 45 degrees click ok select this face click on sketch draw a center line here escape uh, by pressing control select these two points make it coincide draw a circle here 30. Make this line 100 mm. Extrude it. Click OK. Now, what I will do, I will some, uh, use some command called mirror. Not my mirror, but you know, a command mirror. Click on this. Now, I will select all the features that I want to mirror. So right click clear selections, select all the features that you want to mirror, click OK.
so we have make crank road exit at assembly component mode select the top plane of the assembly click on sketch click on here click on midpoint line draw the line as i'm showing press escape select this line make it vertical exit the sketch mode now what you want to do is uh, click on here my bad open the wrong thing Let's move it. Now click on here, click on view temporary axis, select this line and this. Okay, make sure it's made, activate. Make sure it's coincident, click OK. After that, select the front plane and the front plane of the assembly, click OK. So we have made up to this point. Now I need a crank rod. So how can I make it? So let's see. Uh, first remove this traffic light icon that is revealed now click on here click on new part select the front plane press ctrl plus 8 for no more skin to the view i will make a simple crank rod uh, nothing sci-fi or complex one because it is just a you know guidance tutorials so that you guys have an idea how to make one So the internal diameter will be 50 and this one is can be as per your requirement but I think 80 will be fine. Press escape. By pressing controls like these two points make it coincident. Let's make it 60. Uh, 65 will yeah, work better. Uh, select this line. Make it 30 make it 45 escape select this line make sure it is greater than 200 why if it is less than 200 then I, it will get issues I already told you what is crank diameter so make sure that you remember that so I'm making it 250 now click on line draw the line as I'm showing escape escape mm -hmm. mid plane uh, 50 is fine click ok 12 is fine after that what I will do I will right click click on view press uh, select this face press ctrl plus 8 now select the front plane click on sketch now instead of doing hard work by pressing ctrl I will select these lines and click on convert entities click on trim line and trim the necessary lines now go to the features, click on extrude. Let's make it 30. 25 is also fine. Select this face. I think this is this much is fine. Click OK. If you want you can make cavity here as well, but it's up to you. Click on mate, select this axis and this face. Make sure click on concentric and click OK. Click on advance, click on width, select these two faces and these two faces. Notice it is at the center of it and it is basically what I want. Now I need something called piston. So how can I make it? So click on here, click on new part, select the front plane, press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin with the view. So first thing I will make is the outer of the body. I will not make going to make a complex one. Escape, make this line horizontal. Select this line. 
make it construction line so that I will not face any issues. Now what I will do, I will draw the line. like this escape and let's give them some dimensions as per your requirement 70 100 and I go to the features click on revolve boss space click on no so this is how it looks like mm, this is good to me make sure it's automatically pick up the thin feature and you can change the direction as per your requirement so I'm reversing the direction click OK select this face click on sketch draw a center rectangle here while making this whole assembly make sure no external reference is checked on while making parts because I heard a lot of people complaining that hey uh, it is not working my part is fixed blah 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 so I'm warning you. Uh, I also took telling this concept, uh, you know, in other videos as well. So make sure that you do that. I'm not responsible for that mistake. And 60. Escape. So, uh, select this line by pressing Ctrl. Select this line. Make it constant midpoint. Give it a thickness of. Uh, 18 mm. Click on mirror entities. Select the entity that you want to mirror. Mirror about this sign. Click OK. Go to the features. Click on extrude. Make sure it is blind. Increase the length as per your requirement. I think this much is fine. Click OK. In my case, it is 95. Select this face, click on sketch. Draw a circle here. Give it a diameter as per the requirement, or you know, whatever the diameter given to it. Now, click on extrude cut. I don't know what, okay, it's automatically cutting up to this point and 95. So, yeah, else I will use, you know, up to the surface, but I don't need. So yeah, that's a good thing. Now what I will do, go to the mix, select this axis and select this axis. Make sure it's concentric. Now, click on advance, click on width, select this face and, okay, I'm not able to see the reference, select this face. Space and this space. Click OK. Now my part is hide, so I will right click and click on show components. Click on this side to hide all the necessary things. Uh, the piston is not moving the correct orientation. So what should I do? So I will click on here. Click on I again. Select this axis. Click on plane. And I will select the top plane. Click on sketch. Close this. So if I try to rotate, you can see I am getting a quite good animation. Now. To make it animate, it's quite simple. All you have to do is go to the motion study, make it up, right click orientation, disable it. If you want to learn what I am doing these certain steps, I highly recommend check out my course on Udemy, link in description. Click on motor, select this face, click on reverse direction, click on distance. In my case, it is 360 degree. Enter the value of 10, click OK, go here, enter the value of 30. All these things why I am doing certain parameters are discussed in my course. It is just you know time consuming if I add those as well. 
plus most of the few people don't like to watch uh, long videos of mine so that is the reason i'm doing it that is the basically main reason i'm doing it I think this is fine. I So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts, inquiries, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.